This is Wollemia nobilis, or the Wollemi pine. You might know it as a dinosaur plant, and that's because it is, fossils dating the species to emerging 200 million years ago. But today, they are on the edge of extinction, persisting in a tiny, remote canyon of Wollemi National Park, two hours west of Sydney. The largest site is, occupies about less than 50 metres of the creek line. Like blink and you'd miss it. They're, they're hanging on by a thread, you know, they, they really are on the brink of extinction. To protect against losing this unique species, the Wollemi Pine Recovery Team have established new populations in secret locations. The program began in 2012 with a, a PhD student named Heidi Zimmer. Um, so Heidi established an experimental translocation uh, in conjunction with the Blue Mountains Botanic Garden. Our Wollemi translocation site is where we've planted out some Wollemi pines to make a brand new population. It was protected in the wild from your normal human threats like logging and illegal visitation in there. However, there are difficult to manage threats like fire disease and climate change. Those three things are, are not things that are easily managed in the wild. The new populations were established in isolated canyons, separated by kilometres of rugged sandstone cliffs and planted in moist rainforests similar to the wild site. When you're looking for a translocation site, one of the first things you do is you try to find a site that isn't affected by the same threats as the wild population. During an unprecedented fire season in 2019-2020, all populations, including those new ones, came under threat simultaneously. The recovery team couldn't anticipate something that had never before been recorded. A mega blaze burning for over three months and consuming over one million hectares of land. Now the Wollemi Pine Recovery Team are urgently trying to understand the full impact of these wildfires. Yep, eight, four, zero, seven, eight. It is dead. I think about 90% of the Wollemis were entirely blackened, charred, and there are only a couple that had a tiny bit of green left on them. About 20% of the plants that were alive at the time of the fire have re-sprouted so far. Most of their recruitment is vegetative. That means new ones grow from the bottom rather than starting off with seedlings. It's actually really useful to responding from fire. So maybe part of the reason why it's been able to survive this long is because of its capacity to re-sprout. Studies of other species have shown that re-sprouting resources do get depleted after multiple fires. So if it, they were burnt again and again, we don't know how long they can keep re-sprouting for. I would be wanting to keep fire out of here for as long as possible. An exciting thing is that the Wollemi pine today has a distribution bigger than it's ever had before because it's growing in gardens all over the world. But it's not exactly like conserving it in the wild. It's like you would want pandas to live in the wild as well as living in zoos. This is similar, you know, conserving in gardens is different to conserving in the wild. We have to give further thought uh, to what we regard as maintaining the population in the wild. You know, there has been talk of translocating to places like Tasmania, but then is that still what you would uh, consider well in my pine wild habitat? we're seeing is the end game. This, this is a species on the brink of extinction. There's, there are no two ways about that. Creating uh, translocated populations is the only way to reduce the extinction risk, but it's, it's not an easy task. It really depends on the, the kinds of compromises we're willing to make to coexist.